Here we present finding Nemo negative mind mosaic augmentation for referring in segmentation. I'm Songsu, one of the first co-authors. Cheon and Donghua will be also presenting. We thank all collaborators, Juno and Dr. Sangwoo Lee. This is work done under the supervision of Professor Sun Sung Yi. Referring image segmentation segments an object when you're given an image and a freeform query referring to that certain target object. What differentiates RIS from other grounding tests is that the scene is usually given in the way the visually similar objects coexist and in the slide. Due to this nature of RIS task, we find difficulty levels in RIS can change depending on the number of negative objects that look similar to the target referent. So the more negative objects you have, the more difficult the RIS problem becomes, and the model needs to fully understand the words to discern similar objects. So we evaluate if the current models actually perform well in hard cases by manually picking examples by considering the number of negative objects. Surprisingly, we find there is a huge performance gap between easy and hard scenarios. To find a possible cause, we have inspected training samples and found many easy samples, even within the, within the data set, they are thought to be harder. Once we also consider the degree of visual ambiguity in the scene given the query, we, we assume these samples may not be challenging enough, enough to train models for capabilities that are as needs. So we wonder if there's a way to increase the visual ambiguity to create challenging samples to make a stronger model. So this is where we proposed negative image mosaic augmentation. The method is super simple. Our method augments each image by combining it with three other images to create a mosaic. The three images are retrieved from the image pool based on their similarities to the original image. As a result, we can build an image like in this figure, where each mosaic cell works as a negative image. For example, let's say the query a woman standing in front of the wall. In the left image, understanding a woman is enough to find the target, but in the right, the model now needs to understand what, what woman in front of the wall means. So we expect the augmentation method to help the model focus on the subtle differences between similar entities in the image. In order to retrieve visually similar images, we use image text retrieval model like Clip. What we need here is the right level of visual ambiguity, which, which means the augmented image should be neither too easy nor too hard. However, if we take any retrieval results, the mosaic might end up being too easy, as in the left case, or invalid with multiple answers in the right case. So the proposed method first sorts images in the pool based on the similarity scores and then drop images by threshing holding as tau because we don't want multiple answers to exist at the same time. On the top of this, we only use top k images to select three negative images. And here's the main performance table. After augmentation with negative mosaics, we achieve improvements in performance consistently over different models and different data sets. We compared our NAMO pipeline with methods like yellow, cut mix, and mixgen. Our approach performed the best as it preserves the original context needed for the referring image segmentation. But the other methods often disrupt the key visual elements and the semantics. Let's take a closer look at the key properties of NAMO. First, NAMO performs well even in visually challenging scenarios. In the bottom left image, you can see that the performance gap grows as the number of negative objects increases. Also, the bottom right table shows that Nemo is also robust at sentence length, even with longer and complex ones. Next, we evaluate the impact of Nemo across different object sizes. The improvement is seen in most cases, particularly for smaller objects. Finally, we tested sentences with and without positional keywords. And the graph on the bottom right shows that Nemo delivers stronger improvements, especially when dealing with long and complex queries. Interestingly, when you look at the final activation map of the model trained with augmentation, we can see clearer boundaries in more accurate reference locations. And this is something that the previous models struggled to detect. And here's a few of the Nemo augmentation examples and the results before and after applying NEMO. And here's the overall summary of our pipeline. 
And please refer to ablation and appendix for more details. Thank you for listening.